welcome everyone we are going to see about types of in vitro culture what is an in vitro culture in vitro culture is a method applied for the growth and development of plant cells tissues and organs that uses a nutritive culture medium under controlled sterilized conditions it has proved beneficial for the production of disease free plants and increased plant yield in developing countries a culture of cells or tissue can be grown by this techniques the media used for the growth of the culture is broth or an agar there are several types of in vitro cultures seed culture embryo culture callus culture organ culture protoplast culture pollen culture anther culture suspension culture somatic embryogenesis the first one is seed culture in this culture the explants are obtained from an in vitro derived plant and introduced into a laboratory where they proliferate the explant should be sterilized to prevent it from tissue damages it is mainly used for the plants like orchids orchids are mainly grown by the seed culture techniques and this is a visual example embryo culture this involves the in vitro development of an embryo for this an embryo is isolated from a living organism both a mature or an immature embryo can be used in this process mature embryos can be obtained from ripe seeds the immature embryos are obtained from the seeds that fail to germinate the ovule seed or fruit is already sterilized therefore it does not need to be sterilized again this is the process of the embryo culture the next type is the callus culture A callus is an unorganized dividing mass of cells. When the explants are cultured in a proper medium, the callus is obtained. The growth of the callus is followed by organ differentiation. The callus is grown on a gel-like medium composed of agar and specific nutrients required for the growth of the cells. And this medium includes the growth factor also. the next type is the organ culture in this any organ of the plant such as shoot leaf can be used as an explant and another number of method can be used for the organ culture such as plasma clot method raft method grid method and agar gel methods uh, this method is used to preserve the structure and function of an organism the next type is protoplast culture it is a cell without a cell wall A protoplast can be cultured using the hanging drop method or microculture chambers. In protoplast culture, a number of phases can be observed. Development of cell wall, cell division, regeneration of a whole plant can be observed. Protoplast culture techniques are especially important because of their potential applications in efforts to improve plant species by cell modification and somatic hybridization. The next type is pollen culture. Pollen culture is a technique of production of haploid plants by the culture of pollen grains obtained from an anther of a plant under the aseptic condition on artificial media of known composition. In here the media is made up of known composition. Pollen culture is a technique in which haploid plants are obtained from isolated pollen grains while in anther culture those are obtained from pollens by placing anther on a suitable synthetic culture media the next type is anther culture anther culture means plant regeneration from the haploid microspore cells with the aim of haploid and dihaploid plant production there are few reports on plant regeneration in the anther culture of buckwheat anther culture allows immediate fixation of homozygosity through diploidization of regenerated haploid plants and that for serves as an efficient plant for inbred line production the next type is suspension culture a cell suspension or suspension culture is a type of cell culture in which single cell or small aggregate of cells are allowed to function and multiply in a agitated growth medium thus forming a suspension suspension culture is one of the two classical type of cell culture the other being adherent culture Suspension culture is simply multiplying single cells at a, at a higher rate in a liquid medium. This liquid medium is continuously agitated on an orbital shaker. This is mainly used by scientists for studying cell growth and development. 
somatic embryogenesis it is a developmental process where a plant somatic cell can de-differentiate to a totipotent embryonic stem culture that has the ability to give rise to an embryo under appropriate conditions this new embryo can further develop into a new plant somatic embryogenesis is significantly important for in vitro mass propagation germplasm conversion and genetic improvement of higher plants this is the example for somatic embryogenesis and the final type is single cell culture single cell culture is a method of growing isolated single cell routinely performed to obtain single cell derived cell clones for both basic research and therapeutical applications single cell can be isolated from a variety of tissue and organs of green plants as well as from callus tissue and cell suspensions thank you